To identify the furthest behind in key development areas, the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific has developed a Leave No One Behind tool. This tool centers around the classification and regression trees, also known as CART. Let's start off with an intuitive example from daily life to explore how the CART methodology works. Meet Asha. She is a data scientist and loves swimming. She usually decides to go swimming depending on some combination of weather and work factors. As a data scientist, she wants to identify the circumstances that make her more or less likely to swim. So, Asha begins monitoring her daily activities. Though brushing her teeth, for example, might have some correlation with feeling good and healthy, it most likely does not impact her decision to go swimming. Instead, she identifies factors such as air temperature, humidity, workload, and social commitments to be more relevant for her decision to swim. Asha also believes that weather and social commitments are the greatest contributing factors. But let's not assume, and instead use the CART algorithm to reconstruct her decision-making process. The CART algorithm produces decision trees which closely imitate how most people make decisions. So let us explore which circumstances are most likely to influence Asha's decision to go swimming. Asha collects data for these circumstances for 14 days. And after running the CART algorithm on her data, she finds that the most important factor is air temperature. This is therefore the first split in her decision tree and comes before all other circumstances in explaining the variation in Asha's swimming pattern. When it's cold, she tends to avoid swimming. When it's warm, she is more likely to swim. Next is humidity. That's the second split. When it's hot and humid, Asha always wants to go swimming. Finally, workload is the next split. When it is cold and she has a high workload, she is least likely to go swimming. Interestingly, after our calculations, social commitment doesn't seem to impact Asha's decision to swim. Our decision trees help us map data in a way that categorizes and creates an intersection of circumstances to lead to a defined outcome. In Asha's case, the combination of warm weather and high humidity always leads to her swimming. And the combination of cold weather with a high workload makes her least likely to swim. Now that we can see the intuition behind the decision trees, let us look at an example of how the CART methodology works in practice. Let's choose the indicator, access to electricity. The CART algorithm uses a splitting criterion to determine which circumstance explains the greatest amount of variance between groups of people who either have or do not have access to electricity. We can see two possible splits for our indicator. The top splits on education. The bottom splits on residence. The residence split results in groups that are more homogenous. In other words, a place of residence leads to greater differences between population groups than a different level of education. Therefore, residence would become the first split in our LNOB tree. CART analysis doesn't stop at the first split. It analyzes subsequent nodes to see if more variants can be explained from further splits. In the example above, the urban residence node is further split by education, while education isn't as important as residence in the overall sample. It emerges as an important circumstance where we zoom into urban areas. Here we see that it creates a significant gap in accessing electricity. Whereas in our rural population, there is no further split of the data. Our LNOB tree did not grow beyond rural areas for one of two reasons. The first possibility is that our sample size is too small to meaningfully follow the statistical process to split further. The second possibility is that the CART algorithm found that the access rate of electricity in the less educated population in rural areas is not much different than the access rate amongst higher educated population in rural areas. In either case, our tree shows us that people living in rural areas are our furthest behind group with only 25% access to electricity. These are simple examples to explain the theory behind the CART analysis. 
The LNOB trees on our online tool are more informative and reveal further intersections of circumstances that create disadvantage or advantage for a variety of chosen indicators. The results are available for download in different formats on lnob.unscap.org.